Um, I'll talk about Apache Nemo, a framework for building distributed data flow optimization policies. This is a joint work with Chong Yun, Konu, Juyan, Sana, Changho, Wonuk, and my advisor, Byung Kun Chun. So let's think about the execution of a distributed word count. Uh, this application is expressed using a high level programming model. So here we map each word to a pair of word and a count of one. And for each word, we sum up the count. And this application uh, will be converted to a runtime directed acyclic graph or a DAG uh, by a compiler. So the map function will be copied to the map vertices and the reduce function will be copied to the reduce vertices. And the data dependencies will be specified by the edges. Then this DAG will be executed by a distributed runtime with the master and executor processes. So let's look at this runtime more closely. And we see that master has a scheduler with the runtime deck to schedule. Then uh, it acquires the data center resources and then deploys executor processes and distributes the map vertices first. These map vertices will process their portions of data and output the uh, data partitions to a data channel abstraction, in this case, disks. And the reduced vertices will be scheduled next, and they will um, fetch the partitions, effectively shuffling the data. So in this setup, our observations are on resources and data. So the current trend is that these resources and data are becoming diversified. So examples are geographically distributed resources, cheap transient resources, and also the data are becoming large and skewed. And in this talk, I'll just talk about cheap transient resources and large scale data. So let's consider uh, using cheap transient resources. Suppose one of the executors is running on transient resources. And the problem with these resources is that they are cheap and also frequently evicted. And this causes a lot of uh, recomputations that degrade the performance. And let's look at the second case of large scale data shuffle. So with large input data, naturally we have many map and reduce vertices. And that naturally lead to many data partitions that need to be shuffled. And you know, shuffling a lot of these partitions cause a lot of many uh, disk seeks that degrade the performance. So there are these various issues. And the question we ask is how to optimize distributed execution for these different scenarios. And the existing approach is mostly direct specialization of the runtime. So mostly just write a specialized scheduler for this optimal scheduling or write, uh, implement specialized data channels for more optimal data communication and so on. However, this approach makes it hard to ensure these um, properties. So first is correctness. How can we ensure that the optimized execution after the specialization produces the same result as the original execution? Second is reusability. How can we ensure that the single specialization works across different applications? And third is composability. So we have these different specialized components. How can we compose these to um, deal with cases with combined resource and data characteristics. And our goal here is to make it easy to optimize distributed execution by providing such properties. So our idea is uh, an intermediate representation or R on IR. So given these different applications written using different programming models, we convert this up convert an application to an intermediate representation DAG with the vertices representing logical operations and the edges representing communication patterns. So here we have a shuffle dependency. And then we introduce this abstraction called optimization pass, which is simply a function from, a, from an IR DAG to a new IR DAG. And our claim is that writing these passes are much easier than the direct specialization because you just think in terms of how to transform this IR deck. And then our system will reflect the optimizations in the distributed execution. So Apache Nemo is our system. 
And I'll first describe the, its overall workflow. So Nemo user job submission parameters are simple and easy. You have this existing application, for example, a Spark or Beam application. And then you additionally specify a list of compile time passes. Here we have three passes. And then a set of runtime passes. So here we just have one pass. And runtime passes are invoked during the execution of the IR deck. So these are the parameters. And the system first uh, applies the compile time passes. So the, the application first becomes the IR DAG, the initial IR DAG. And then we apply the passes in the list order. So the C1 is applied, and we check the correctness of the output IR DAG. And then C2 is applied, and we check, again, correctness. And we also check that C2 does not undo any of the optimizations that C1 uh, did. So we check for these conflicts between the passes. And then we apply the next C3, and uh, similarly with the checkers. And if all checks pass, then we are good to go, and we convert this IR DAG into a runtime DAG, and the runtime will execute this uh, while reflecting all the optimizations. And then comes the runtime passes. So during job execution, a Nemo message can be produced from the runtime and forwarded to the compiler. To invoke a corresponding runtime pass to further optimize the IR DAG. And because the IR DAG and the runtime DAG are decoupled, we can lazily update this new runtime DAG to, a, to the existing uh, runtime, running runtime DAG to uh, ensure correctness. So that was it for the overall workflow of Nemo, and we'll talk a little bit more in detail some of the optimization pass examples. A, what a pass does is typically it traverses the input IR deck, and it inserts utility vertices and annotates execution properties. So a utility vertex applies a specific function, and an execution property configures a specific scheduling or communication method. We've implemented various passes for different uh, deployment scenarios. But in this talk, I'll just talk about large shuffle pass and transient resource pass, since they are the ones that I've been talking about. And both of these are compile time passes. So first pass is large shuffle pass. Our goal is to avoid on-disk data shuffle. So we aim to shuffle data in memory, write shuffle data to disks, and read from disks sequentially. And a related work is riffle. And here's the algorithm for the pass. So for each shuffle edge E, we insert a relay vertex, which is a utility vertex. So given this initial IR DAG on the left, this pass produces the optimized IR DAG with the relay vertex inserted. And this relay vertex applies an identity function simply forwarding the data downstream. And then we, uh, set, we annotate three execution properties on the incoming edge of relay. So we, Annotate push, which means that we execute M and relay concurrently. And then we uh, shuffle data in memory without persisting the data in memory. So we do push-based in-memory data shuffle with M and relay. And then we uh, annotate the outgoing edge of relay with this uh, line of code. So we annotate pull, which means that R executes after M and relay finish. And then we annotate disk so that a data handoff is done via disk. And because this is a one-to-one -one dependency, we do sequential disk reads. OK, so the pass produces this optimized IR DAG. And Nemo uh, compares the original IR DAG with the optimized IR DAG to check for correctness. And by simply looking at these re utility vertices and the execution properties, Nemo is able to confirm that they are equivalent, and thus this optimization is correct. So hence the execution. So we um, schedule the relay and M map vertices concurrently with, uh, to honor the push data flow. And then uh, we do, they do this uh, in-memory discard shuffle. And then the, the shuffle data from relay will be written to disks. Then the relay, uh, no, sorry, the reduced vertices will be scheduled and they will fetch the data shuffle data sequentially. So this 
reduces the disk C overheads that we had uh, with the large data shuffle. The second pass is transient resource pass. The goal is to minimize recomputations. So we aim to place computations on transient and reserved resources judiciously, and we push data from transient to reserved. So that a related work is PADO. And this is the algorithm. So here we visit each vertex. And if a vertex has an incoming edge that is a shuffle, then it is costly to recompute. So we place that on reserved resources and the others on transient resources. So we have this placement uh, with the in the optimized IR DAG. And then we annotate a data flow push uh, for the edges that uh, are from transient to reserved. So we have this additional annotation on the IR DAG. So again, the pass produces this IR DAG. And again, we Nemo can check for correctness and confirm that they, are, they produce equivalent outputs. So it's good to go. So we execute this new IR DAG and we place the map vertices this time on transient resources and reduce vertices on reserved resources, and they are executed concurrently. And we have this interesting data shuffle going from transient to reserved resources. And this, you can see that with, even with evictions, this moves data out of re transient resources quickly, thus reducing the recomputation overhead with using transient resources. Okay, so we saw these two passes and they can be composed. So given this single IR DAG, we apply the large shuffle pass. On top of that, we can apply the transient resource pass to get this nice IR DAG with the two optimizations combined. And Nemo checks that this IR DAG is um, indeed correct and there was no conflict between the two passes. Okay. I'll move on to the implementation and evaluation. So Apache Nemo is open source. It has 32K lines of Java code, including its own runtime. Nemo has good integration with other Apache big data projects. You can run your Beam and Spark applications on Nemo. And Nemo itself runs on resource managers such as Yarn and Mesos with the integration with Apache Reef. So we've evaluated various deployment scenarios and in this talk, I'll just talk about large data shuffle, transient resources, and large shuffle on transient resources, since they are the ones that I've been talking about. And we've evaluated different systems. Here, I'll just talk about, sorry, I'll just talk about Nemo and Spark and Pado, which is specialized for transient resources. And Spark is a state-of-the-art uh, data processing runtime. Okay, so this is the result of large data shuffle. So for this one, we run a map reduce on 20 EC2 instances. Y-axis is the job completion time, so lower is better. X-axis is the input data size. So as the input data size grows, Spark degrades uh, due to the disk seek overhead, whereas Nemo outperforms Spark with the large shuffle pass optimization that we saw earlier. This is the result of transient resources. So here we run a machine learning algorithm on 10 transient plus two reserved resources. Y-axis is, again, job completion time, so lower is better. X-axis is eviction rate. So as the eviction rate goes up, Spark suffers from the heavy recomputations of the evicted data, whereas Nemo and Pado, they handle the evictions gracefully. Um, and we observe that Nemo is actually on par with Pado, which is specialized for transient resources, and Nemo is optimized with the transient resource pass that we saw earlier. Now, this one is large shuffle on transient resources. So we run a one terabyte map reduce on 10 transient and 10 reserved resources. Y-axis is again job completion time. X-axis, now it's the path used on Nemo to run this workload. And the default path works similar to how Spark executes the job. So without the transient resource path, default path and large shuffle path, they both suffer from the, uh, the recomputations. Whereas transient resource path itself runs into out of memory while pushing a lot of data to reserved resources. Whereas two passes combined, we, ha uh, we are able to further improve performance over using just a single pass for handling this 
a combined scenario. Okay, so I'll, um, this is a summary of Apache Nemo. Uh, the problem we try to solve is we're trying to make it easy to optimize distributed data flows. Our solution is optimization passes that transform an intermediate representation DAG. The result shows that Nemo outperforms a state-of-the-art Apache Spark with clean and simple optimization passes and is on par with specialized runtimes and further improves performance for scenarios with combined resource and data characteristics. Okay, so I'd like to end the talk by saying that we hope you find Nemo useful and we hope you use Nemo to build your own passes for your data flow research. Thank you very much. Thank you, now we can take some questions. Well, I have a question. I mean, I guess in the wild, sort of what percentage of Spark jobs do you think are amenable to this approach? And if it's a lot, you know, should you just patch Spark? Mm -hmm. So I don't have the percentage number because I don't you know, work for a company or anything. But patching up Spark is a possible approach. But again, to ensure those properties that I talked about, the correctness, reusability, and composability, I my uh, feeling is that you need something like Nemo to make those work. So you need some kind of a policy layer on top of Spark, even if you want to patch Spark to do that, to just keep on using Spark. Yep. All right, great. Any other questions? All right, well, let's thank our speaker again.